Hey everyone, I got some brand new images of the new Avengers Towers. All these photos were thanks to Holly on Film, so shout out to her. Go check out her channel, subscribe. She does amazing Lego content. In this video, I want to go over all 31 minifigures that have been revealed for the new Avengers Lego set. Taking a look at the minifigures themselves, Tony Stark and Iron Man Mach 7 are duplicates. Mark 6, I really like the scratched and damage battle helmet of the front. Next up, we have Captain America and Captain America when Loki duplicates himself and they are fighting during the end game battle scene. So this Captain America minifigure is looking quite plain. Both of them are exactly the same with the exception of the helmet mold and the reverse head just has a chin strap. So it's kind of lazy of Lego, but it's a way to get the same Captain America from the Quinjet battle as well. As for Thor, we've had this minifigure several times, except for the hair. The hair is a brand new piece from Mad-Eye Moody from the Harry Potter CMF series. Black Widow doesn't look too spectacular. The Wasp is very similar to what we've gotten, but we haven't had a Wasp minifigure in quite a while. We get an exclusive Kevin Foggy minifigure, which is amazing. A lot of people want a Stan Lee. It makes sense because Kevin Foggy is part of Marvel. So it's a lot easier to get the rights to a Kevin Foggy minifigure versus needing to go through Stan Lee's estate to get the rights to build him. Next up, we get Hawkeye. He looks so good. He's got the new hair from the Marvel CMF series too, so I can't complain. He's sleeveless. He looks so accurate to the film. Wanda Maximoff looks similar to other minifigures we've gotten of her in the past. Vulcan looks pretty good. He's got a new torso piece. His legs look like something from Hawkeye or Black Widow. Vision is a standout minifigure in this set. He, wow, he looks so good. I love his legs. They look translucent and transparent, like he's phasing. And Vision is just so incredibly detailed. I love the colors and how they pop. And we haven't gotten a Vision since Civil War. So I'm so happy that they included him. War Machine and Pepper Potts, again, they look like duplicates. So one of my complaints with the Marvel minifigures are is that a lot of them look the same. And we've gotten them in a lot of sets. So if this is your very first time picking up a Marvel set, a lot of people will be happy with this. But for Marvel fans who've been collecting Marvel Lego for quite a while, there's not a lot of exclusive figures here. So you're going to be buying this mostly for the tower. We get Wong and Nick Fury, also duplicates. We get Dr. Cho, which... Hey, I appreciate that they're introducing a new character, Hulk. He looks good. I love his happy face, which could be a nod to Professor Hulk, Bruce Banner in Endgame. I would love to see them use a Thanos version head where you can take it on and off so you can customize it. We get Doomy or Dummy, which is one of Iron Man's helper droids. We also see Eric Selvig, which is an exclusive minifigure. I love the old man face. The torso is from Jerry Seinfeld, and he helped defeat Loki and the Shatari in the original Avengers movie. So I think he's a worthy inclusion. Tony Stark is a shield agent, which is a neat reference to Endgame. We get two other shield agents. We get Alexander Pierce, which we've never gotten before. His torso is from a figure from Harry Potter. We get four Shataris. Then we get the same Loki that we got in the Avengers Quinjet battle in 2023. We get a new print for Ultron, which I think looks amazing as he's one of the last Ultron pieces. So this looks like it's a combination of Age of Ultron, Endgame, as well as the original Avengers battle scene. We get to see the iconic scene of Hulk scaling the building, smashing Shatari, smashing Loki. I like that Loki's got a bruise on his face. I think that's the first time I've actually noticed that. Which minifigure are you most looking forward to from the new Avengers Tower? Let me know in the comments below.